You've agreed a deal to come back and t until the end of the season. How pleased are you to get that over the line? Yeah, delighted. I just really wanted to um, get back in the building and get working hard again after um, a really good successful start of the season. Hopefully now the second season kick on, do the same. Uh, yeah, and, and so towards the end of uh, December as well, you started to get a few more first team appearances and also, also got yeah. your goal against Barnet. So yeah. It shows the improvement since yeah. you first came in as well. Yeah, Tiz always said to me when I joined that it would take a bit of time to settle in and stuff. But I feel like, yeah, last however many weeks I've really been starting to get in the team and obviously the goal done well to um, help cement that position kind of thing. So yeah, man, it's got to kick on now, second half of the season and just see what I can do. What's the uh, past week been like, or I suppose since the, the Barnet game, because you went back to West Brom, didn't you, for a bit? Yeah, it was a bit of a weird one, so I scored against Barnet, come in, I was drug tested straight away, so yeah. no, there was no celebration or anything like that. Come out and the change room was empty and the cars were gone, so I was a bit like, oh. Then I went, then I went then obviously we had the game against Newport away, and um, that was alright as well, because then we went straight from there to West Brom and so it hasn't really been a chance for with me be with the Excel lads to celebrate it. But when I went back to West Brom, um, they were really not pleased, saying, oh, well done to get your first goal and things like that. It's really, really complimentary. And uh, I suppose Alan Pardew's pleased for you to come out and get some more um, League Two football. Yeah, definitely. I think that um, it's probably the most valuable experience valuable thing I can do, um, playing games in League 2 or any in the Football League in general. Um, honestly, yeah, it's really a learning experience every time I step onto the pitch. Uh, this Saturday it's against Coventry. Um, what have you made of them? Have you had yeah. a chance to see much of them this season? Yeah, I've seen, um, at the start of the season, I've seen when we went there. Obviously it's local to me as well, so um, local team. I've seen recently as well, they beat um, Stoke 2-1, which is obviously an amazing result for them. and. Um, Hopefully, though, we, we, end, we, we end their little run on, on Saturday. What do you th think the keys are going to be on, on Saturday in terms of getting a result? I think it's all about us, really. I think we have to focus on us and make sure that what we do and how we prepare for the game is better than them. I mm. think if we do that, then on Saturday it will just take care of itself. Can you take a, some confidence as well from uh, the, the Barnet performance overall, the, the second half against Newport and the second half against, well, West Brom you wouldn't have seen, but the, yeah. the, the dressing room as a whole. Yeah, honestly, um, I was listening, cause it was a bit hard to find it and watch it in my eyes because I was in Birmingham, but I was listening to it on radio and I think at Exeter this for past few weeks, I think we've been re playing really well. I think Barnet was a good result, Newport was, un um, Newport was unlucky, but and obviously West Brom was unlucky, they're a Premier League team, but to even to how we played against them second half shows that we can give anyone a game, I think, when, when we're on it. Your goal against Barnet was voted the fans' uh, goal of the month. How does that feel? <laughs> yeah, that's really nice as well. So thank you for everyone who voted for me out there, out there because um, I'm not going to lie, I think it was probably, he deserved it, he deserved it. <laughs> can you uh, talk us through what was going your mind when you put um, the ball up? The ball come out to me, Jaden set me, I've set it and no, I mean, me, me and Matt Oakley have been working quite a lot on coming in off the right and shooting my left. And I think it was just that that clicked it. I thought straight away I've got a chance here to score. And I just whipped it bottom corner and it was good. I think it was a good finish to be fair. But I've been scoring in training as well, just leading up to it and stuff. So maybe it was set for it. I don't know. I don't know.